Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the Waking Flame DLC. This time with my juicy stamina sorcerer with the exact same setup like previous patch. I only changed the shoulders from medium to light, so 6 medium pieces and 1 light armor piece since they've changed the armor passives. Light armor gives now physical and spare penetration and even weapon crit not only spare crit. The rotation is exactly the same like previous patch. If you want to see the explanation, I will link the video in the description below, check it out. After a couple of passes, I managed to get 112k DPS. I did a couple of mistakes, so 113, 14, maybe 115k is probably doable. I will show you the pass first, afterwards I will discuss the build with you. Exactly the same like previous patch, Reliquin on the body, one slime core in light armor, like I said before, they changed the light armor passive, it gives physical and spell penetration now, and spell and the weapon crit. In 
rates, you could probably go even still with 7 medium here. One Harpooner's Waiting Kill, the mythic item. If you don't have access to mythic items in general, you could go with one Slime Core and one Grundwolf for extra crit rate. Front bar set, advancing Yukida. It's a heavy armor set, that's why I use it on the jewelry and on the weapon. I use a Maul for extra penetration on the dummy. In raids, I recommend to use the Great Sword or the Great Axe. With the double dot poison still, and on the back bar the black walls prison daggers, both infused. If you don't have it, you can still go with the Maelstrom Arena bow, but the daggers are definitely better here. Traits full divines on the body, bloodthirsty on the jewelry, precise front bar, double infused back bar, enchantments, max stamina on the body, full weapon damage on the jewelry. Double dot poisons like I said before and a shock damage glyph and a poison damage glyph. Why shock damage? Quite simple. Sorcerer has a uh, passive called energized which increases our shock damage by 5%. So it's slightly more damage than the fire glyph. Quick look on the skills. Executioner or 2H execute which I use at 31%. Bound Armaments, Wrecking Blow or Spammable, then our two pets, we have to slot them on both bars, don't forget it. Flawless Dawnbreaker as Ultimate, Back Bar, both pets, Daddy Cloak, Barb Trap and Hurricane as Ultimate, one of the strongest single target ultimates out there, the Greater Storm Atronach, super powerful. And it also gives Major Berserk for one of your mates. Race Stunma, still, for extra weapon damage and max stamina. Khajiit is similar and Orc is slightly weaker, but almost the same. Mundus, the Thief Mundus for extra crit rate. Lava Food Soup as buff food. In raids, if you don't have sustain issues, you could even use the green max stamina food. 64 points in stamina. Potions, always the same. This one with stamina, major savagery, and major brutality. CPs, backstabber, fighting finesse, deadly aim, and master at arms. If you can't flank the enemy, swap backstabber for, for example, Taumaturge instead. Red CPs, boundless vitality, fortified. Rejuvenation and the new red CP sustained by suffering, which gives even more stamina recovery while you are under the effect of a negative effect like minor mobility, uh, defile, that kind of stuff. That's it for the build. If you have some questions, type in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Next build will be up in one or two days, probably a stamina char again. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao ciao.